what I'm going to give you here is what I call the four whys to ask a buyer. So it's four questions that you want to ask someone after they buy, which is going to reveal a lot of information that you can then use to help with your messaging and, and future pitching and presenting and all that. So the first question is, why did you buy now? Not just why did you buy, but what something happened in their world that precipitated them deciding now's the time to buy this thing. So that time component, right? Not just why did you buy, but why did you buy now instead of last week or last month or last year? Really, really powerful. The second question is, why did you choose us? It's one thing to decide to spend money to address and try to solve a problem. There's a reason they chose you as opposed to other options. And you wanna know what that reason is because it gets to your differentiation point. Then the third and fourth questions are actually sub questions of another question. So what you want to do is you want to ask them on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your current performance in whatever it is that you help them with, right? So in your case, you might ask them on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate your current sales team's performance? And it doesn't actually matter what they say, because what matters is their answer to the two follow-up questions. And you're gonna ask both of these, right? These are the third and fourth why. So when they say, okay, uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'd rate my sales team's performance as a seven. You then say, okay, why isn't that higher? And it's gonna get at what they feel like they're missing. And they hired you to help get that seven up to a 10, an eight, a nine, or whatever. And then the flip side of that question is, okay, you said your sales team's performance is a seven. Why isn't that rating lower? And now they're going to tell you what they think they're actually doing well, because their rating doesn't actually matter. What matters is the missing pieces of the equation. These are the things that are preventing us from being a 10. These are the things that we're doing right. And this is why we're not a one. And all of that is super valuable information, not only in the context of that buyer, but also in the context of what you can use in your messaging to attract future buyers.